And what started as a grass fire quickly jumps from home to home in one Delta community. Tonight, firefighters are working to contain the damage at a resort marina, the fire burning on West Brannan Island Road. This is in Sacramento County, just south of Isleton. And to give you a better idea there, the cross streets are where at least the rivers join the San Joaquin River and McColumney Rivers. Uh, it's a resort community right on the water, but you see today how strong the winds are blowing that smoke, and this fire spread very quickly. We started covering this about 4:30, and now here at 6 o'clock, we've seen multiple fire agencies, more water on this, and it looks like most of the flames were out. But at one point, it just seemed like it was just going so quickly. Yeah, the end result: now several homes are destroyed, and firefighters are doing what they can on the ground. We spotted at least six trucks trying to save whatever property they can in this marina neighborhood, a mobile home park where those uh, homes are set together in a very tight fashion. Let's go to live copter three pilot Dave Allen, who's up above, and uh, Dave, a lot of homes destroyed down there. A lot of it looks like at least 11 homes have been damaged. We don't know how many of those are total. We know we do see um, about three of them, it looks like, that have definitely burned to the ground. But in the last half hour, we've watched propane tanks explode, about at least two of those. But the good news is more apparatus have arrived down here. It does appear as though they're getting a control or getting ahead of the structure protection down there. Haven't really seen any new homes take off from here. So hopefully they're getting this really under control right now. Back to you. Dave, it's really a different scene than we saw, boy, just even a half an hour ago. Kind of describe uh, just the, the firefighters that are there on scene and what they've been doing in that much time. Well, it looks like that they've put a perimeter of fire trucks right around this entire area, so they've, they're getting water from all four quarters of this because this is a, a large circular area. It's like a mini city in here, and because these buildings are packed so close, you know, one structure goes, the next structure goes, so they have to sometimes just keep that water on the structure that's not gone yet in order to and maybe you know possibly be sacrificing the structure that is going up but keeping it from spreading by keeping the water on the structures that have not yet caught fire. Yeah, and as we watch this just to describe this neighborhood, it's at the very end of Brandon Island which technically is not an island. It's more like a peninsula that mm -hmm. sticks out in the San Joaquin and, and McCallany River rivers wrap around it. And this neighborhood is at the very end of that tip and it is uh, slow going to get from various fire stations to get all of those units in place to get the, that water on those homes. It did take some time just simply because of the physical limitations of getting all of the equipment in place. But as we zoom in there, you can see that the fire continues to rage on in one of the residences. And we have seen so many catch fire, put up a lot of smoke, and the fire continues to burn right now. This is the uh, Course Pirate Lair Marina. This is a family owned uh, resort that has been around for some 80 years. And when we talked to the owner a little bit earlier, she said that she was really uh, glad to see everybody got out because this is a mixture of some permanent residences and also some vacation homes. A lot of folks have boats and recreational activities that they do right there on the water. And so obviously the, the biggest, the main concern was to try to get everybody out there, to get everybody to turn off the propane tanks. But as we have heard from uh, Dave Allen, some of those propane tanks did explode. Uh, they've just, uh, the fire has been racing from home to home. Home, and so you just hope that everybody has gotten out safely. When you look at just a you know half an hour ago at how big that fire and those big the flames were, it was really scary to, to not know what was going on down below. Yeah, we're told right now that the video you are seeing, well, there it goes right there, an exploding propane tank, and that is the essential uh, source of energy for most of these homes out on some of these delta areas and in this mobile home park they are, they use propane for uh, gas and other energy and we are told by the folks at courts that that residents some were able to turn off their propane lines but not all were able to as they were trying to evacuate that was of course the most important part of just getting out of the way of this fire but they weren't able to turn all of the propane tanks off and some did explode back out live now you can see some lighter colored smoke less flames but still a lot of damage let's go to mark Finan right now and mark this is about a 16 acre property here and unfortunately today it was right in the line of those delta winds 